going on everybody? It's Pelfrey. This is my Red Sea Reefer 250 and um, I'm going to do an update. So quite a bit has changed over the last couple or last week since uh, my last update. I want to touch on a couple things here. My last video was 23 minutes long, 22 minutes long. I'm going to try to keep it shorter. Um, I'm going to first discuss, last week I talked about photo bucket and how it completely ruined the internet. Uh, luckily, Reef to Reef, um, I'm wearing the t-shirt, Reef to Reef was able to, uh, any picture that had been posted to their forum from any third party website, it didn't matter, they were able to save them. How? I have no clue, I'm not gonna ask any questions. So, the good news is, out of the four forums that I post on, Reef to Reef is the only forum that my build thread is actually still alive on. Uh, I am gonna update the other threads with videos, but as far as pictures, they are gone. So. I have almost 20 pages uh, on my build thread on Reef to Reef. If you are interested in uh, checking that out, I'll, the uh, link is in the description below this video. You're more than welcome to uh, hop on there, ask any questions. The uh, tunes on the top off is running, so excuse that noise. The next thing that I want to talk about is something that I believe came out yesterday. If you don't have, if you do not have Netflix, I suggest. I don't know if they run a free trial. I suggest either getting somebody's password, signing up for a free trial, trial or uh, paying for one month. If you're watching this particular video with me in it, that means that you are interested or own a saltwater fish tank. There's been a new documentary called Chasing Coral. It's uh, just just under an hour and a half. Uh, basically, I'm, I suggest watching it, but basically it is about um, people capturing data on the different reefs around the world and the bleaching phenomena that has been happening all over the world and what I grasped from it was it was due to the temperature of the water. Um, I'm not going to go in detail about it. I just suggest that you sit down and watch it. You may have already watched it. If not, uh, like I said, if you're watching this video, it's because you are interested or you own a saltwater fish tank. So. It is a great watch. I watched half of it last night and I finished the rest of it up today. The next thing is the two wrasses that I had bought from Live Aquaria. One of them passed away like four days after I received it. Well, I found the other one dead this morning. Don't know why, don't know anything about it. I just happened to look in the tank this morning and uh, it, it was laying in the back and it had been dead for quite some time. So either it got picked on um, and then ultimately maybe the shrimp or some of the snails or something got a hold of it. But it had been dead for, I'd say sometime last night it had passed away. Um, here recently, one of the, the only bird's nests that I have in the tank, uh, the base of it started to turn white. So last night I took it out of the tank and cut from the white part down off of it and re-glued it to a frag. So hopefully it does bounce back I did move, I can't remember if I touched on this uh, last week or not, but I did move one of the gyre pumps to the back wall. Not really sure that I like it. It is pushing some water, not over the rim of the tank because I have it um, running at like 20 or 30 percent. But I do like that it's, it's not on the side of the tank anymore. But with that being said, I may move it back. Uh, I'm, not really, uh, I'm not really sure there. Um, I did get some stuff in this week that I put into the tank. I'm going to go over that whenever I take the uh, camera off the tripod. And I want to mention also that there's a company called Vivid Creative Aquatics and they make uh, different nozzles, return nozzles. One of them is called a random flow generator nozzle. Um, but they make different 3D printed nozzles. And I have to say that I have the RFG in my possession and the build quality of that versus any of the other 3D pieces that I've seen um, it is it's superior. It's, it's way better. So <clears throat> what I'm getting at is the, the random flow generator sticks out pretty far and I don't have a lot of room since the overflow box is in the tank and by the time you stick the random flow generator on the return nozzle um, it basically points right at the glass. I mean there's, there's no way to get around it. So um, they've done a great job of kind of catering to those that have the Red Sea Reefer tanks and they now have a half inch and a three quarter inch adapter for lock line. So 
Now the mod that I'm running on here now is uh, just a, a threaded piece of lock line with Teflon tape wrapped around it and shoved into my reefer uh, return. They are sending me two nozzles. They are sending me the half inch nozzle and the three quarter inch nozzle. I will do a full re review on the uh, half inch nozzle, which is what I need for this one, I believe. Um, but I'm gonna get both of them. I'm gonna do a full review on it. But, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's Vivid, creativeaquatics.com. And uh, um, what else is going on with the tank? Coraline algae, uh, discussed this last week. A lot of people caught correct me in the comments by stating that it does not plug up the rocks. First and foremost, I want to uh, address this by saying, sometimes I simply don't know what I'm talking about. I, uh, I do read a lot, I do watch a lot of videos, and then I kind of base my opinion on it. So, with that being said, if I have misspoke at all in any of my videos, feel free to correct me because if I'm not corrected, then I don't know about it. I don't know any other way. I'm gonna go keep on going about my life and living my life thinking that whatever I've come up with is the answer, when in turn, it may not be the answer. So, positive, negative, neutral feedback, I encourage it all. The more the better. Um, so I had a couple people mention that in the comments of my last video. Thumbs up to you guys. Um, you probably notice something a little bit different on the tank. You've probably been staring at it for the last however long this has been running instead of me. So, Oh, sorry about that. I had to go get something to drink because I can tell you what, it's like sitting here in the sun. I had to put on my my glasses. It is, it is real. You know, you're sitting right here and you're basically in the ocean. And I might actually need to go get some sunscreen. Um, I don't know what else to say. Where did the sunglasses come from? I had to, I, it's just too bright in here. But on a side note, the sunglasses, um, let me explain this real quick. So, you've probably seen the AP700 sitting over top of my tank. The Kessel A160s are still on the tank. I now have a pair of DC reefer sunglasses on. Why are they DC reefer sunglasses? He was nice enough to send me the AP700 to test out over my tank to see how I liked it. Uh, he didn't have to do that at all. He was nice enough to do it. He likes to wear these types of shades, and I figured with this much light, I probably really need to wear some shades too. Matter of fact, let's do another shameless plug for my favorite forum here. Wipe this off my, my face, it's sweat. Get that off of me. So, reef to reef, folks. I'm an avid forum user, and that's the best forum, period, bar none. Anyway, let's get rid of the shades. Thank you, DC Reefer, I appreciate it. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel below. He has uh, documented Reefer Palooza to its fullest. If you don't know about DC Reefer, I suggest you go check him out right now. So enough with the foolishness. The AP700 is hanging over my tank right now. The Kessel A160s are over the tank as well. They're both running. The AP700 is running at uh, 20% and the red and green, I think I got it bumped up to like 5%. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. The, the tank is cloudy, I will say this, the tank is a little cloudy only because I took the filter socks out and we'll, we'll get into that here in a second. But the AP700, uh, it changed the way that this tank looked, it, for sure. So let's press this button. And that is with the AP700 off. Now the Kessel 160s are on. And uh, of course the Kessel 160s are pretty much at a kind of a white spectrum here. I don't know if I can tune them a little bit to get them maybe to match the blue of what the uh, AP700. So there's the 160s. Let's turn the AP700 back on. That's the AP700. And let's turn the 160s off. And that's with the 160s off. Uh, the AP700 is definitely, definitely a different animal. Not only does it look a lot better with the sleek design, Excuse me, it is a different animal. Am I going to keep the AP700? I'm not really sure yet, and this is why. I've only ran my tanks with Kessels. I've never ran a tank without anything but Kessels. Everybody else has gone to Radeons. 
I could put two Radeon XR15s on this tank. And I know that somebody's gonna come into the comments and say, do T5s, do this, that, and the other thing. I'm either going to stick with Kessel or go with Radeons. I'm not really sure. I wish that I could try a set of XR15s on this tank so that I can get a definitive answer. But in reality, you know, if you, if you purchase the product, uh, chances are you're not gonna be able to uh, return it once it's been opened. So with that said, the AP700 is a different animal. Um, I definitely like it and enjoy looking at the tank much better than staring at the cannons. So 360s were a possibility for me, but uh, they've pretty much been ruled out just because I, I, I want the Coke cans off of the tank. Now, once again, shout out to DC Reefer. I appreciate everything that you've done for me. You did not have to do this by any means. Uh, the AP700 is definitely, it looks good on this tank and it fits perfect. It, it's a 36 inch tank and this fixture uh, fits perfect. And to be truly honest, the 160s are pretty much centered on the tank and the AP700 could move forward about an inch or two. And that would probably change the whole dynamic and the way that this tank looks. But I don't want to pull the 160s off because if I pull the 160s off, then I'm probably not going to put them back on. I'm not really prepared for that right now. So let me get you off the tripod. Let's take a look at the tank. Let's try to wrap this up in a, in a reasonable manner. And uh, I'll let you go on your way. I might need the sunglasses first because it's bright over here. All right, let's first take a look at the front of the tank with the AP700 and the Kessels. And uh, once again, the mount is uh, 8020 uh, extruded aluminum, 8020.net. It's very easy to get on there and start picking your parts once you've picked your, picked your framing methods. Um, I do have a video I will put out on that at some point. So anyway, the AP700 is over the tank. There it is, hard to see there. Um, and once again, you can, there's pictures of this on reef to reef. So feel free to, uh, to, uh, get on reef to reef and, uh, have yourself a look. So as far as the corals are concerned, I don't know that this character is going to make it. It does have polyps on it still, but, uh, it's pretty brown. But anyway, I move it down there on the sand bed and it's fine. The bubble tip anemone did split. There's one piece there. There's another piece here. And, uh, this one, since I put the AP700, has started to stretch significantly. And ultimately, the corals are, are looking great. And this guy decided to make an appearance as soon as the AP700 came on. So I can say that the AP700, um, it's, it, it's doing a great job. That is the bird's nest that you can see some of the tips on it are white. And uh, I cut the base of it off and my super glue job is not great. But anyway, I moved it back here and we'll, we'll kind of see um, how it does. There is the Gyre 230 on the back wall of the tank covered in coralline algae. I did scrape some of it off the overflow. Can't get to that because of the rock work. So I'll have to get in there manually. And then I got it on the plastic there. But let's get down here. <clears throat> and by the way, youtube.com slash pelfrey algae barn and Kessel. <clears throat> these two did not pay me to put these on my sump. With that being said, if uh, you want your business or YouTube channel advertised on my sump, then send me an email we can work something out. All right, let's hop in here. The Nihilus 120 skimmer. Um, I don't know what happened, but I've been having a heck of a time getting this thing dialed in and there's multiple people that have helped me it skimmed fine all week long so that's a week i pulled the filter socks out last night and uh the skimmate production has changed quite a bit and i don't know if that's due to the uh the filter socks or not so why are the filter socks out well i received an order from algae barn i bought the uh the 5280 uh the mixed pod selection I bought 10,000 of them and uh, some of the green uh, protein drink that I tested out last night personally and I woke up this morning feeling like a champ. 
I got it off of uh, algaebarn.com. Uh, there was a coupon code on Reef to Reef, so I decided I would see the tape. I did put a piece of rock down here um, to kind of help with that. I do have, it's hard to see, but that's the return chamber where the pond matrix is. And then I have pond matrix in here uh, in the Aquamax uh, reactor as well. So hopefully uh, out of the 10,000 pods, I have a pretty decent population going. As far as the algae scrubber is concerned, took the hood off of it. The screen is really not growing any algae, but you can see that there is algae growing on the base of the, uh, the scrubber. So I'm running two lights on it. Um, I'm just gonna continue kind of churning away at that. Um, the Neptune AFS is still sitting here because that's where it belongs. So I've been asked, um, Kevin, shout out to Kevin. Um, he said, if you're not gonna use that Neptune AFS, send it to me, I'll put it to good use. Why am I not using it? Currently, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not using it because um, the screen lid could mount it to the top of this uh, light rack and uh, use it that way, but I'm feeding the tank twice myself and ultimately if I need to put the AFS on top of, or on the tank to go away or whatever, I will, no big deal there. So yeah, the, the big updates uh, this week, of course, the AP700 is on top of the tank. The tank has been seeded with uh, 10,000 plus pods and the two rasses that I picked up from Live Aquaria are now gone. That is very unfortunate. So, by all means, if you have any questions, uh, comments, suggestions, anything, leave it below. Um, I've, I've been asked quite a bit about the screen top, and if you look at the description, I have a whole list of the equipment that I use on this tank. Um, if it is not in that list, by all means ask, and I will let you know. I've been pretty consistent with doing five gallon water changes every week. Since I put the uh, pods in the tank last night, I haven't made my mind up if I'm gonna do a five gallon water change this weekend or not. If I do, it'll be tomorrow. I don't think that five gallons is really gonna hurt my pod population at all. Um, I've been changing the water uh, from the sump, so I've been turning the return pump off and uh, putting a pump inside the sump and pumping the water out versus doing it out of the display. I don't know why, it's just, I got, guess got kind of tired of uh, pulling the water out of the display, so I'm kind of changing it up a little bit just to, to spice up the water changes for me a little bit. So, this video is probably a lot longer than I intended for it to be. And with that said, I'm gonna cut it off here. I may have missed a subject or two, I probably need to start taking notes, but I'm gonna quit rambling on. I appreciate everyone watching and uh, staying tuned and following along with this journey. Excuse me, I got the uh, the burps a little bit during this video. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Go to uh, Reef to Reef or Google Devoted Reefer, but I'm telling you that the full build thread is still alive on Reef to Reef, so that's the best way to go. Um, check it out if you're interested. Until then, folks, I will see you on the various live streams that happen throughout the interwebs, and uh, we'll see you all on the next one.